Weird and Wonderful Christmas Traditions from Around the Globe Part 2, Number 1, Yulgoat, Sweden. This charming Swedish tradition adds a touch of whimsy and folklore to the Christmas season. It's not just a decoration, but a symbol with a rich history and interesting lore. Yule goats were smaller straw ornaments displayed in homes or farms. They served as playful guardians, ensuring preparations for the big feast were done properly. The Yule goat's origins stretch back centuries, possibly to pre Christian Norse mythology. Back then, goats were associated with Thor, the god of thunder, and fertility rituals. Number 2, La Bifana. Italy, La Bifana, is not your typical Christmas character, but her story and traditions are just as fascinating as Santa's. La Bifana is an old woman, often depicted as a friendly witch, who delivers gifts to children on the eve of Epiphany, January 5th. Unlike Santa's Christmas Eve tradition, La Bifana arrives on a broomstick, sliding down chimneys or entering through windows to leave treats for good children in their stockings or hanging shoes. Number 3, Hiding Brooms, Norway, the idea of Norwegians hiding their brooms during Christmas might sound like a peculiar fairy tale, but there's some truth to it. While not a widespread or strictly followed tradition anymore, the practice stems from an interesting blend of pre-Christian beliefs and festive folklore, according to Norwegian folklore, witches and evil spirits come out on Christmas Eve to do some mischief. So families hide their brooms to stop them from being stolen for a midnight ride, sometimes they even burn spruce logs in the fireplace to stop them from coming down the chimney. Number 4, Christmas Eve Saunas, Finland, the Christmas Eve Sauna in Finland is more than just a hot bath, it's a deeply ingrained tradition, a cultural touchstone, and a way to connect with family and Finnish spirit. It's a centuries-old tradition, dating back to ancient times when saunas were used for purification and cleansing before important holidays, around 80% of Finns participate, making it a truly national practice, it is seen as a way to cleanse the body and soul, prepare for Christmas peace, and connect with ancestors and nature. Number 5, Throwing Shoes, Czech Republic, the Czech Christmas tradition of throwing shoes isn't quite as literal as it sounds. While shoes might be involved, the act itself is more like a fun fortune-telling ritual than a footwear-flinging contest. On Christmas Eve, unmarried women stand with their backs to their house doors and toss a shoe over their shoulder, the direction the shoe lands indicates where their future husband might be from. If it lands toe pointing towards the house, they might even stay single, this light-hearted tradition adds a playful element to the holiday season sparking curiosity and laughter among friends and family. Radish Carving, Mexico, Indiana The heart of Oaxaca, Mexico, Christmas doesn't just come with twinkling lights and joyous carols, it bursts forth in a unique and whimsical tradition, the Night of the Radishes, Noche de Rabanos, this annual event, held on December 23rd, transforms simple radishes into intricate works of art showcasing local talent and celebrating a centuries-old cultural tradition. It all started in the colonial era when farmers brought large, white radishes to the Christmas market in Oaxaca's main square. To entice customers, some started carving simple figures into their radishes. Word spread, and soon, playful competition blossomed. 